In this next video, we're going to talk about this hand. And remember in the previous um, video, I moved it over here out of the way. And if I wanted to put it back to where it belongs, I need to parent up to its peg. And parenting, I mean press B, and that will bring it up to this sort of yellow or greenish color. And if I hit Shift R, it'll put it back to where it was supposed to be. And if I and you'll see what I mean when I say where it was supposed to be. If I was to switch it to here, everything works. If I move the arm to this where it's 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 in the position it originally it was in. And what Shift R is be any sort of transformation that I do, Shift R it will reset its transformation or movement. If I move it there, Shift R, it will put it back. Now what I normally do when I don't want to see something like this, I will create an empty drawing. And you can see right now I have a couple of different hands in my library, but what I want is I don't want any of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it. And instead of duplicate drawing like we used before, I'm gonna hit create empty drawing. And that's going to basically create a drawing with no vector artwork in it. Now, typically what I do is I, I always em label it empty. So if I press Control or Command D, depending if you're on Windows or a Mac, I can call this empty. So I pressed Control D. Okay. Again, let me just make another duplicate so you can see what I did. Create empty drawing. If I want to rename something, it's Command D and I can give it any name, any name I want. But anyway, we have our, our empty drawing right there. So anytime that you want to create, uh, you want to hide something, you can also just create an empty drawing. Thank you very much.